twin controversies hitting area schools. In the Valley, diversity is coming under the microscope with accusations of segregation for a back-to-school event. We thought it was important to call out the school district and let them know that what they're doing is, in fact, illegal and unconstitutional. And in Green Bay, a school fielding concerns over a trans athlete looking to join a girls' sports team. It threatens the opportunities for ladies, but it also is mostly just a safety concern. Tonight, parents and leaders are weighing in as these national conversations arrive at our front door. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us tonight at 9. And Appleton High School is currently under scrutiny after posting on social media about a back-to-school event. Now, Appleton East is hosting two back-to-school nights this month. But one night is being designated for only freshman students of color and their families, causing some controversy and the threat of a lawsuit. Fox 11's Lexi Schrader brings us the details in this Project Education report. Appleton East High School posted this flyer to its Facebook page last week. The flyer on Facebook uh, clearly said that there was going to be a freshman orientation that was only uh, open to freshmen of color. The Wisconsin Institute for Law and Liberty, a legal and policy center promoting limited government, liberty, and education reform, is criticizing the back-to-school event. Dan Lennington, deputy counsel, says we'll send a letter to East asking the school to remove the post, threatening legal action. The school district is part of the government and it's not allowed to discriminate based on race under the U.S. Constitution and several other laws. The flyer goes on to say the purpose of the meeting is for students to meet the cultural advisor. Students will also get to meet the principal, check out the school, and ask any questions. This is obviously racial discrimination. Uh, there's no justification for this. The post from Appleton East about the meet and greet has been shared over 300 times, has more than 500 comments, and more than 200 reactions. There are comments from people on the post thanking the school for having an event like this. One comment reads, all students belong at our Appleton schools, and this is a great event to help New East students and families get connected to cultural support staff and admin. While another says, thanks for doing this. We look forward to attending. But when 2014 Appleton East graduate Bernardo Cano saw the post, it left a poor taste in his mouth. One of the greatest things that I wanted uh, out of being able to come to the country was to be able to be included in things, being able to see no difference between myself and the other kids. Originally from Mexico, Cano moved to Appleton when he was a little boy. He says no one should be defined by their skin color. It makes us feel as of like all those times that we came to school to take our pictures along with our friends that weren't the same color as us. It makes it feel as if though none of that mattered and we're kind of back to the 20th century, so to speak. Will states Appleton East has not explained, at least publicly, why it planned this segregated event. But in a statement sent to Fox 11, the Appleton Area School District says, we know how incredibly important it is for our incoming freshmen to transition into high school successfully. It points out the school is holding several events to help incoming freshmen and their families to feel comfortable and confident in their transition, including an additional event where students and families could attend a meet and greet with the cultural advisor, have a meal, and take a tour of the building. I do have a strong opinion because I did grow up here not knowing the language and having to completely relearn the, the sense of feeling a part of a community. Fox 11 also reached out to multiple equity, diversity, and inclusion coordinators to get their input. Outagamie County's EDI officer, Major Cooper, says students from marginalized populations and their parents and guardians face many barriers entering secondary school systems. In a statement, he says, I do think that allowing the students and parents to come into the school on a specific night and learn about all the resources that Appleton East offers is a great jumpstart to freshman year. He goes on to say, where I think the controversy came up is the specific words that were used. As we all navigate this EDI lens, we must be aware that words matter and can be interpreted in different ways. Boris Welcher, a 2017 graduate from Appleton East, agrees. I understand the intentions. Like, obviously, it's not bad intentions. I don't think they went into malicious intent, obviously. Um, but I just feel like they could have worded it a lot better. The letter Will sent to East states if the school does not remove the post and open the back-to-school nights to all races, Will will file that formal complaint with the Office of Civil Rights, U.S. Department of Education. 
The complaint will seek a formal investigation of Appleton East High School's events. In Appleton, Lexi Schrader, Fox 11 News. Appleton East has its second open house scheduled for August 30th, and that one is open to all students.